We got a 2011 two-tone candy root beer Electroglide Ultra Limited. Got the bumper pull, Vance and Hines exhaust. Two-tone candy root beer paint. Got the lights around the tour pack. Chrome bezels, cup holder, on the speakers. Got all the chrome. Dash CD player. We're looking at twenty-five thousand miles on it. Got the navigation system. XM radio. There's our little XM box. Got the LEDs rocking in the front. Got the LED chrome strip here. And that candy root beer paint is just something else. Got the LED light here. Haven't got the LEDs for the blinkers yet, but they're coming. Got the chrome wheels. Harley Davidson pinstripe white wall tires. Got the 103 engine, six speed transmission. Got the Dunlop pin, pinstripe white wall on the back. Chrome wheels. Push to talk system for the passenger. And she is a dream to ride. All right, as y'all may have known, I did have the Nomad, the Kawasaki 1600 Nomad. I went and traded it off down at the Harley shop, down looking around, and I found this Ultra Limited. And let me tell you guys, I fell in love with it. It had everything I was looking for, the six-speed transmission, cruise control the 103 cubic inch motor vance and hines exhaust already had the bumper ball on the back for a trailer cd player navigation i mean this thing was loaded up and ready to go i'm going to make a few changes to it like the windshield i'm gonna get a shorter windshield and a windshield bag it didn't come with a windshield bag so we're going to change that and a backrest i gotta have a backrest my nomad had one and i fell in love with it and man it's just long rides just ain't no fun without a backrest got an air horn so they can hear me coming got the leds so they can see me coming and got a stereo system so they can hear me coming also. I like this thing. I had to get rid of the Nomad. Well, I say I had to. I didn't have to, but I did anyway. Just because all my friends made me feel like an outcast. I come rolling up on a Nomad and they're all sitting out there on their street glides and their fat boys and their ultra classics. And I felt like uh, out of place, you know. They would all be like, park your bike over there. <laughs> this is reserved for Harley parking. And my damn mechanic guy that I like to go talk to to get advice on how to work on different things, he won't even let my bike in his shop. Now, he says, oh yeah, bring it on. Love to have it. I'll do whatever you want to it. He is a certified master mechanic, Harley Davidson. I believe he's went to every dead gun school that they've ever had. 
and now he runs his own shop and only Harley Davidson's can grace his shop and I got one now that he says he'd be proud to let come right in his shop and he would be proud to turn a wrench on that dude and I am a proud owner this is my bike there are many like it made in 2011 of course but this one is mine and I'm gonna do with her what I will and I'll show y'all from time to time the upgrades and stuff I do to it but she is a beauty it's just seemed like a good day to get out and do a video that candy paint it is something mirrors I'm gonna change those mirrors I'm gonna get a taller mirror that's another thing I'm gonna do to it other than ride the piss out of it all right guys that's where we're at on our motorcycle venture I put 500 miles on it so far since I've had it probably going to put another 25 to 30 thousand on it before I trade it off for something different look at those wheels just shining beaming got the dual disc brakes on the front and this is one of the things that I like too mama don't like having her legs hanging over this bar with these down so she can put her feet up here and kick back just like their highway pegs for passengers. She loves them, and I enjoy that she loves them. Well, I got a guy mowing over here. It's time to cut this video short. But there's where we're at. Proud Harley-Davidson owner in the Harley-Davidson family. Rock on.